In this video, we will be using the normal distribution calculator from onlinestatbook.com and I've included the direct URL here in the lower left hand corner. Given a data set is normally distributed, determine the probability that a randomly selected data value has a z-score in the given interval. Give the answer as a decimal to three decimal places and a percent to one decimal place. For part A, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is greater than 0.8. Before we do this though, for a quick review, a z-score or standard score is the number of standard deviations the specific data value is from the mean of the distribution. If we plot z-scores on a normal distribution, it is called the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is a normal distribution that always has a population mean of zero and population standard deviation of one. So going back to our problem, let's find the probability the z-score is greater than 0.8. Going to the normal distribution calculator, we have the directions here on the right. Number one, specify the mean and standard deviation. Two, indicate whether you want to find the area above a certain value, below a certain value, between two values, or outside two values. And this area will give us the probability we are looking for. Step three, indicate the values. Step four, hit tab return or the recalculate button. So again, we're trying to find the probability the z-score is greater than 0.8. So because we have z-scores, we know the mean is zero. The standard deviation is one. Because we're looking for the probability the z-score is greater than 0.8, we select above and then change the value to 0.8 and then press enter tab or recalculate. And the probability the z-score is greater than 0.8 is shown by this area, which we can see below to three decimal places is approximately 0.212. Let's go ahead and record this. which is equal to 21.2%. For part B, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.5. Going back to the calculator, we now need to select below because we have a less than inequality symbol and then change the value to negative 1.5 and then press tab return or recalculate. Again, the area shown here on the left will give us the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.5 which to three decimal places is 0 0.067, which is equal to 6.7%. For part C, find the probability the z-score is greater than negative 2.3 and less than 1.2. So now we're looking for the area or probability between, so we select the third option, and we want the probability the z-score is Again, greater than negative 2.3 and less than 1.2. So we first enter negative 2.3, tab, 1.2, tab, return, or recalculate. And again, the area shown above between the z-scores of negative 2.3 and 1.2 gives us the probability, which to three decimal places is approximately 0.874. which is equal to 87.4%. For part D, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.7 or the z-score is greater than 1.9. We now need to select outside and first enter the z-score of negative 1.7, then enter the z-score on the right, which again is 1.9 and then press tab, return, or recalculate. And again, notice how we have the area to the left of the z-score of negative 1.7 and the area to the right of the z-score of 1.9. The total area gives us the probability we need, which to three decimal places is approximately 0 0.073, which is equal to 7.3%. I hope you found this helpful.